Lawyers for Jayant Patel say they're worried he won't get a fair trial in Queensland. The case against the former Bundaberg surgeon was mentioned in the Supreme Court in Brisbane today and it's likely a trial will be held later this year. It could be the first of several as the charges against him will be tried separately. Jayant Patel was released from prison a week ago after the High Court quashed his convictions on three counts of manslaughter and one of grievous bodily harm. Today, the wheels of justice began turning again. We were half expecting it. I mean, when we appealed the uh, convictions, we did ask for a retrial. The Crown will proceed with retrials on each charge separately. From day one, two years ago, we did apply for uh, separate trials and they vigorously opposed it and now, there are, and now they're going for separate trials. The charges relate to patients in his care during his time as Director of Surgery at Bundaberg Hospital from 2003 to 2005. Patel's lawyer is concerned his client won't get a fair hearing from a Queensland jury and they may apply for a judge-only trial. Given when, once he was convicted, uh, newspaper headings uh, labelling him as Dr Death and a lot of reports after his conviction, Yes, yeah, so all that stays fresh in uh, people's minds. Jane Patel wasn't in court. He'll continue to reside in Brisbane on bail, reporting weekly to police. In Bundaberg, the start of the lengthy court process has been met with resignation. The sooner they deal with everything, the better it is, really, because we don't want it hanging around. Very emotional day for a lot of people out there, and um, my heart goes out to them all. Um, it's something that has to be, so um, it's just going to be a long, long, long journey. Patel's case will be back before the court in three weeks. The 62-year-old maintains his innocence on all charges. Donna Field, ABC News, Brisbane.